Good day students. In this video we are going to see a square wave generation in 8051 port pin using polling method. So we are going to generate a square wave like this in a port pin. So in this example we have considered the port 2 and out of the 8 pins in port 2 we have considered the first pin. So we are going to generate a square wave here and for the square wave, we are going to complement the two logics, logic 0 and logic 1. Continuously, we are just going to complement. And between each complementing function, we are going to introduce a delay. And the delay is introduced using timer. And suppose for example, let us consider, I want to generate a square waveform for a frequency of 50 Hz. Then, the time period of this particular square waveform will be the inverse of the frequency and it will be equal to 20 milliseconds. So, if it is a 20 millisecond time, the on time will be equal to 10 millisecond and off time will be equal to 10 millisecond. So, it corresponds to 50 percentage duty cycle of the waveform. So, to generate such a waveform, first we need to load the timer value and we need to set up all the timer special function registers. So, we need to use T mod register and this timer run bit that is available in TCON register and we have to load a suitable value in timer low and timer high registers. So, what is the value to be loaded will be proportional to the delay. So, the delay calculation is very simple using this formula. So, the delay that I need to produce will be equal to 2 power n minus count to be loaded in the timer into time for each count. So, we are having 4 different modes in timers in 8051 and here let us consider we are going to use mode 1 which is a 16 bit timer. So, as it is a 16 bit timer in this formula n will be equal to 16. So, I need to find the count value and all the other values are known. So, for this particular example, I need a time delay of 10 millisecond. So, time delay need required is 10 millisecond. The formula is 2 power 16 minus count into time for each count. So, time for each count will be based on the oscillator frequency. Let us consider the oscillator frequency is equal to 12 megahertz. So, in, in the internal timer circuit, this frequency will be divided by 12 and the frequency of 1 megahertz will be inserted into a timer circuit. So, the time for corresponding timer circuit will be 1 by f which is equal to 1 microsecond. So, that 1 microsecond shall be substituted here. So, this is purely based upon the selected clock frequency. So, when I substitute here, the only unknown is count and if I calculate the count using this formula, I will be getting 55536 five, because 2 power 16 is 65536 and if you get this 1 microsecond into this side and calculate the count, we will be getting this. So, this decimal value which is in the base of 10 is converted into a hexa value which is equal to D88F. So, this value should be loaded into a timer special function registers, TL register and TH register. So, the timer is having, we are having two timers, timer 0 and timer 1. And so, here we are going to use timer 1. So, hence I am loading TH1 with D8. So, if the numbering is starts with alphabet, we have to insert a 0 here. And TL1 will be loaded with 8F. So, this calculated value has been loaded in these two things. And we need to configure the T mod special function register that I am going to use 1 mode 1. So, the mode 1 I am going to use and I am going to use the timer 1. So, I am not at all worrying about timer 0. And I am going to use this as a timer and I am not going to have any gate signal. So, when I see the bit pattern of T mod, I will be getting 1, 0 and this value is loaded in the T mod register. So, to use the timer, I am loading the T mod register, I am loading with the approximate count 
and then I am running this timer 1. So, timer 1 can be run using a timer run bit that is available in TCON register. So, ZB can be used for a single bit instruction. So, here the timer is loaded and timer is started. So, when the timer start, actually what we are doing is we are using the software polling method that is we are waiting till the timer completes its timing. So, we are waiting for the timer overflow flag TF1 and when this flag will be set is when count is over. So, counter is uh, overflows, this flag will be set to 1. So, until this flag set to 1, this instruction will wait inside this loop. So, this loop will be wait for 10 millisecond exact time delay. After that, what we are doing is we are clearing the timer run bit that is we are stopping the timer and we are complementing the port. So, when the if the port initial value is in 0, it will be 10 millisecond in 0 state and then we are complementing it and it is becoming to 1 state and again we are jumping to the same instructions. So, again for next 10 millisecond it will be in the complemented high state and again for the next millisecond it will be in complemented low state and the program goes till the end. So, this is a simple program which is software polling and we are going to run this program using Kale. So, to run this program in Kale, let us open a Kale software. So, Kale Microvision is open and this similarly a project is created and this program will be inputted. So, new project is open. So, new project, uh, let me give a name for the project as square and I am saving the project inside any comfortable folder. So, I have created a folder called square wave and inside that I am creating a project and as we are going to see the output in the Kale, we can uh, see a, use any 8051 microcontroller. Let me take a 8051 microcontroller from Intel. So, I am selecting Intel and 8051 microcontroller. So, uh, I do not need any startup code. So, I click no. Now, a project is created. Now, we are just opening a new file. So, new file. In this file only, we are going to type the program. So, let me copy this program and just paste into this uh, particular code and let me rearrange a tab correctly. So, after uh, giving the code, we need to save the code and we have to attach this file to our uh, project and we need to go to the debug mode as we are doing assembly language programming. So, here we have used the same assembly language programming and I am saving the file. So, the file is saved with any name dot a51 this assembly language for 8051. So, it has been saved with the extension a51. So, I am saving. Now, the file is okay. This file will be attached to the source group. So, add files to group and I am selecting the assembly language file and adding it and closing it. So, inside the source group that file is available. Now, I am fixing the options for target. The main target is we have calculated the entire timer values with the crystal value of 12 megahertz. So, let us check in the target the crystal value is 12. Is it, it is 12 and I clicking OK and build the work. Here, uh, the program and the project is built and zero error. If you get zero error, then we can go to the debug session and start debug session. So, uh, when it asks for the running code limit, press OK and then I am just running the program. So, when I run the program, I want to see the output. So, here we are having a logic analyzer. I am clicking a logic analyzer. So, the logic analyzer starts here click the setup to enter in which port pin we have generated. So, we have generated our code in the port pin P2.1. 
so if i press that one and here i i am making one more setting i want an analog signal with the minimum value of 0 and we can uh, set any maximum value so i am setting 1 so here we are masking we are generating in uh, port 2 so our code is port 2.1 should be uh, shifted to 1 to get the waveform so we are uh, get shifting the signal to one point and we are getting this uh, square wave so this square wave will be continuously generated and if i want to calculate the frequency i am just clicking and stop running to stop the waveform and again i am clicking the logic analyzer to see the generated waveform now if you see the time period of this particular waveform the time period can be obtained uh, from the so here for a, any grid value it is uh, mentioned as 0 0.01 and the value for the x axis if you see the on time is for 10 millisecond and the off time is for 10 millisecond so we can verify the time uh, after stopping and seeing the waveform and we can uh, vary the tl1 and th1 for different uh, delays and we can check out whether that particular frequency has been generated using logic analyzer. So, this is a simple way of generating a square waveform using software polling. Thank you.